Okay, so we are here taking a look at this JCB403 electric wheel loader. And um, a little test that I wanted to try and carry out was the cooler efficiency for the hydraulic oil. So on the back here, we have a hydraulic cooler. We have uh, a fan connected to it. We have an inlet pipe. And I don't know if we can spin all the way around here and just have a little look in there. It's not particularly bright, but there's a temperature sensor that is clamped around that pipe. And if we come all the way up to the top, we have a temperature sensor clamped around there. So BNC Plus here, absolutely making it a lot easier because we can now measure and graph temperature. Underneath, we have a current clamp connected to the U phase of the electric motor that's driving the hydraulic pump. And we also have the hydraulic pump pressure being collected by WPS 600. So the idea here is that we want to see how good that cooler is at dissipating the heat that is generated by the hydraulic system. Now, this isn't the most exciting of waveform captures. However, it gives you an idea of how efficient that cooler is. So if there was any problems with maybe blockage or dirt debris actually building up within the core of that radiator, we should start seeing that the difference between the inlet and the outlet temperatures are going to be not where they need to be in order to make that work as well as it should. So we've got a long time base at the moment. We've got 100 seconds per division, which gives us a total time of about 16 minutes. I'm hoping if we fast forward, we'll get to a point in time where we can start seeing those temperatures change. I've added two measurements just to record the maximum temperature of the inlet and the outlet pipes. And we've actually used the display option here to change the name so that in the measurement it is displayed with the correct name for that channel. So let's get the machine started and up and running. Let's go for it, Simon. And all we're going to do is we're just going to start working that machine and actually starting to get some heat generated within the hydraulic system. So we can see that that U phase has now come online and we can hear, hopefully we can hear as well, that we've got things happening. We can also see from our hydraulic pump our maximum temperature now on the yellow line here, we're around about 200, 190 odd bar. Now that's obviously gonna be at its maximum output. So when there's no work being done, but a hydraulic system is being loaded, heat is being generated. And that's where we wanna make sure that our cooler here is doing its job and getting rid of it. So we'll come back to this. We can already see that our temperatures are starting to change. And then just see our blue and red. Now they are both on the same scale. I've just separated the axes just to give us a little bit of a better idea of what each of them are doing. But hopefully our measurements down here, we can start to see that actually our outlet temperature and our inlet temperatures are starting to change. So we'll come back to this in a bit and see how we're getting on. Okay, so what we have now, obviously waited forever, and temperature, like I said, isn't the most exciting of waveforms to watch. However, what we've noticed is that the inlet temperature now as a maximum got to 39 degrees, the outlet temperature was 37. So that means that the heat coming from the inlet pipe through the radiator cooler and then back out the top, there's obviously a difference. Quick way of determining the differential between the two channels, obviously a mass channel, we're going to do A minus B. And as we can see here, it's pretty straight, yeah? So up to this point, we can see here the temperature starting to decrease in one. And this is just showing us that there is a difference between the two, which is exactly what we want. We want the outlet temperature to be cooler than the inlet temperature. All right, I hope that helps. Just gives you a bit of an idea about efficiencies of heat coolers. And that can be applied to engine oil cooler, radiator for coolant and obviously we're looking at hydraulic um, but yeah just think about the two different temperature differentials and actually that can start giving you a bit more um, diagnostic direction i hope that helps <laughs> 